Number 10. Blue Angel Crash Our first story shows that even the pros get it wrong in the most insane ways. In 2007, Lieutenant Commander Kevin Davis was flying an F-A-18 Hornet as part of an aerial display with the Navy's Blue Angels team. Tragically, he went crashing down into a populated area, Davis died, and eight civilians sustained serious injuries from the impact. How come he lost control? The answer lies in his abdominal muscles. What do we mean? Well, sometimes a pilot will wear an outfit called a G-suit that protects against powerful gravitational forces. The Blue Angels reportedly don't use these suits, which inflate to help pilots cope with the pressure because they may interfere with the control stick instead. Not what you want if you're trying to perform complex aerobatic moves. So instead, they tense up their abdominal muscles to avoid getting disoriented, something they learn in training. A report concluded that Davis didn't manage to do this and experienced tunnel vision as blood was lost to his brain. The resulting tragedy could potentially have been a lot worse, though. Clearly, the loss of Davis was sad and shocking enough. That tragedy happened in the air. Sometimes the most insane crashes can take place without the aircraft ever reaching the clouds. Number 9. Skniliv Disaster What's the world's worst ever air show disaster? That would be from 2002 and the eye-opening tragedy that took place at Skniliv Airfield, Ukraine. Pilots Vladimir Toponar and Yuri Yagarov were flying an Su-27 flanker when their course went wrong to an insane degree. First, the left wing of the flanker hit a tree, from there it made contact with the ground, and in the process, getting tangled in barbed wire. In horrifying scenes, the wire struck spectators as it got dragged, and finally the flanker collided with aircraft on the field and then blew up! And as it did so, it began cartwheeling and went into the crowd. 77 people were killed and 545 were injured. The two pilots managed to parachute out but faced the consequences later. Both were found responsible and imprisoned. Yegorov was sentenced to 8 years behind bars and Topinar got 14. Number 8. Sacramento Takeoff Disaster In 1972, a terrible tragedy ensued after an old F-86 Sabre jet failed to take off and crashed into an ice cream parlor. It happened at Executive Airport Sacramento, where pilot Richard Bingham was taking part in the Golden West Sport Aviation Show. The plane didn't clear the runway and kept on going, which was bad news for those immediately in front of him, namely, Farrell's Ice Cream Parlor. Bingham's arm and leg were broken in the impact, but the accident resulted in 23 deaths. 22 were killed at Farrell's, 12 of which were young children. Another 12 adults died, with one outside the premises being struck by a car running to the scene. It was concluded Bingham wasn't in sufficient control of the Sabre. Also highlighted was the shortness of the runway that could have contributed to the catastrophe. The community remembers the disaster after all these years later with a memorial rose garden paying tribute. A strange benefit of the tragedy is it led to the founding of the Firefighters Burn Institute, and this was something people had been trying to set up before, but the dreadful injuries resulting from the crash meant the fire service were able to raise the required funds so that they could tend to these types of accidents. Number 7. Biggin Hill Disaster A commemoration of the famous Battle of Britain ended in disaster back in the year 1980. At that point, it had been 40 years since this historic chapter of World War II concluded, and planes took to the air at Biggin Hill Airport in London. Biggin Hill played a key role in the battle, where it fended off German bombers from the southeast of England. The idea was to recreate those days, though no one intended the tragedy which unfolded. For reasons people aren't entirely sure of, a Douglas A-26 invader plane took a nosedive. There were seven crew members on board, and things went wrong immediately after takeoff. The pilot, Don Bullock, went to fly over Biggin Hill, presumably to give onlookers a close-up view of the mighty plane. No one survived the crash and explosion, which happened a reported 1,476 feet away from the airport. How awful that an event designed to entertain people ended so tragically. Have you ever watched an air show? How did it go? Let me know in the comments below, and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already! Number 6. Paris Air Show Crash 1973 
The insane air disaster that happened at the 1973 Paris Air Show is something of a mystery even to this day. It was a very dramatic event, but the reason a Tuvalev Tu-144 supersonic jet crashed near Paris, killing 14 people and injuring 60, remains unclear to this day. At the time, it was competing against rival jet company Concorde, and their international rivalry was strong. Both camps were looking to demonstrate their plane's abilities in the air. But tragically, the Tu-144 lost control and disintegrated in mid-air. It hit the village of Gusainville, where six passengers died as well as eight on the ground. How did it happen? Well, some believe the pilot brought the plane up so steeply that it resulted in the Tu-144 stalling. Others believe that the aircraft lacked the correct design to weather these kinds of stresses. But the most talked about stories behind the devastating crash concern political factors. With world powers vying for attention, it's natural to suspect some kind of action that may have led to the crash. One detail noted by the commentators is the possible presence of a Mirage jet flying over the Tu-144 as it performed its aerobatic display. Why was a Mirage jet up there in the first place? Apparently, French authorities wanted some images of the Russian plane. Did the Tu-144 run into the Mirage as it climbed into the clouds? There are various theories suggested as to how this tragedy occurred, one of them being that France reduced the Tu-144's time slot in order to make things difficult for the Russians, and another involving an onboard mishap with a TV camera. Regardless, the whole thing is a sorry mess that may never be untangled. Number 5. Heathrow Disaster The UK suffered its worst air crash in history in 1972, when a BEA Trident airliner suddenly fell out of the sky. This insane and incredible tragedy is both jaw-dropping and harrowing. The plane had taken off from Heathrow on its way to Brussels, and was a mere minutes into beginning its flight when it came back down to Earth again with a major impact. On the way down, it reportedly touched power lines and even the roofs of some cars. One eyewitness described it as being within touching distance when it passed over as it descended into the town of Staines in the country of Surrey. It was terrifyingly close to people's homes, but thankfully, the plane ended up landing dramatically on some waste ground said to be about 300 feet wide. A narrow spot to reach under those circumstances, right? When the plane hit the ground, the tail was ripped off before it finally came to a stop. In total, 118 souls were lost, 34 of them were from Britain, and 29 each from Belgium and the USA. A report issued the following year identified a number of factors behind the disaster, including a failure to keep the plane at a recommended speed, the disabling of the stall recovery system, plus the captain's reported heart condition. It's amazing how a lot of details can combine to potentially wreak havoc with air travel. Number 4. Reno Air Races 2011 We go from the overcast skies of Great Britain to the sunnier climates of Nevada for our next story. But just because the sun's shining doesn't mean there isn't potential for tragedy. In 2011, pilot James K. Leeward, also known as Jimmy, was at the controls of a modified P-51 Mustang plane nicknamed the Galloping Ghost. Competing in the Reno Air Races in Nevada, he no doubt thrilled spectators by reaching speeds upwards of 445 knots. Unbeknownst to those watching, though, Leeward had reportedly gone faster than the Ghost had ever traveled before. And thus, the accompanying G-force pressure put on his body sent him out of action. Adding to this was a dangerous situation in the tail. According to a federal investigation, the left elevator failed, causing the plane to roll, and then, tragically, Leeward crashed into the crowd. Leeward died, along with 10 other people, and 69 more sustained injuries. All of them were at the center of the third deadliest airshow disaster in the United States history. The authorities behind the Reno Air Races in Nevada put together a compensation fund worth $77 million. While this shocking event had an impact on how the shows were run, it wasn't enough to close the air races down for good. The organization took the tragedy on board and moved on. The Galloping Ghost and its fateful flight is a reminder of the dangers inherent in all such displays. Number 3. Farnborough Disaster In 1952, the Hampshire town of Farnborough in England had a major air show catastrophe when a prototype DH-110 plane piloted by John Derry was flying over the crowd. 
Reportedly, Derry broke the speed of sound, and sadly, the aircraft broke too, with fragments striking the public. The cockpit came loose, and Derry plunged to his death alongside flight observer Anthony Richards. 29 people lost their lives in total, with many others injured. Apparently, the plane's second engine hit the observation hill, which resulted in the majority of deaths. The cause of the disaster was highlighted to be a structural issue in the wing. This was a terrible turn of events, with the Queen herself even sending a message of support to the devastated community. Surprisingly, though, on the day of the show, after the runway had been cleared, everything continued on as normal. Recently, efforts were made to raise funds for a permanent memorial to honor those caught up in the crash. Number 2. Los Rodeos Airport Disaster In 1984, an insane and horrific crash at an air show in Tenerife shocked the people of Spain. Los Rodeos Airport was hosting the death-defying feats of pilot Augustine Gil de Montes, a veteran of the skies who appeared to know what he was doing, until that fateful day, it seems. Reportedly, he lost control of his Z-50 plane, which plunged to the tarmac. A crowd of 6,000 spectators were watching the chaos, and to their terror, they saw the fiery plane bounce in their direction. It smashed through barriers and into the crowd, resulting in four deaths, two of which were children. Authorities estimate that many more would have perished if the pilot hit the public directly. DeMontis lost his life, and it's believed he wasn't paying careful attention. Though, of course, that doesn't make his loss any less tragic. For some, it echoed a major disaster that happened less than a decade before. You see, this wasn't Los Rodeos' only brush with disaster. In 1977, it was the scene of the planet's worst air incident. And this was an air-related incident rather than an air show one, by the way. This particular insane situation led to this terrible milestone being reached. Various elements combined to cause heartbreak. When Gran Canaria Airport declared a terrorist incident, it meant that planes needed to be redirected to Los Rodeos, which today is called Tenerife North. Weather conditions were not on the pilot's side, with fog reducing visibility. The pilot of KLM Flight 4805, a Boeing 747, was getting ready to take off when he thought he got an all-clear signal. But then suddenly, coming out of the fog was another Boeing 747, Pan Am Flight 1736. That particular flight was in the process of turning off onto the taxiway when the collision happened. 583 people lost their lives with only 61 making it out alive, and they were seated in the front of the Pan Am flight. While it's believed a communication problem between KLM and air traffic control played a big role, ultimately the airline took responsibility and paid compensation. Number 1. Rammstein Disaster in 1988, at the Rammstein Air Base in Germany, disaster struck. A spectacular air show was underway. The Frecce Tricolore, the Italian Air Force's aerobatics team, went to perform a tricky display referred to as the Pierced Heart. The stage was set for a major collision with planes rushing through the air at a nail-biting 370 miles per hour. The crowd could only watch in horror as a trio of planes flew right into each other. One crashed close to the runway, killing the pilot. The pilot of the second craft tried to leave via parachute, but it didn't open in time, and he met his end when the plane itself crashed into a medical helicopter. Worst of all, the last plane hit the runway, and the fuselage plus a giant fireball headed right towards the terrified spectators. In total, 70 people died on the ground, with over 1,500 injured. Later on, a legal battle ensued for compensation, and it took years to resolve, as all parties argued over blame. The German government was so concerned, it actually halted national air shows, though they started up again later. The Rammstein air show disaster is the third deadliest in the country's history, and you can see why. Thanks for watching! Are there any insane air show crashes you think should have been on this rundown? Let me know in the comments. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the Board Badger!